Hi, if we turn down today we've got this aircraft LCD display which is from the cockpit of an RAF Nimrod. This was bought around two years ago with all the other avionics stuff uh, with the intention of doing a teardown video on it someday but I've got round to it so here it is. Now this is going to be a bit of a kitchen worktop teardown because I haven't really got anywhere to work on it. Just about this unit does look like it's brand new. It's the third thing. Ah, oh, it put me back to this. Right, I'm first impression. Here's that. There's three video connectors. So this thing may take a video input, composite video input. It's actually a about yeah, simply a B and C. Uh, now whether that's for red, green and blue, or whether it's three separate inputs, I don't know. The other connector is the 104 pin connector. So I'm I've taken the cover off before another look. So that'll carry the power and other signals. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, start taking this thing apart. Yeah, that's the backlight assembly. Let's see, it's... Oh, CCFL tubes. Yeah, it's backlight assembly. There. You can just see the back of the LCD panel down there. I'll show that on camera because it's difficult to see that. And uh, let's put this back in. It's like a daughter board. Come out. Yeah, right. This must be an option board or something. This might, might be a standard chassis, this thing, and they just put a different option board in it. We know what it's going to be used for. So, let's take a close look at this board. Yeah, what well, looks like a custom FPGA there. And then, difficult reading these parts. Just have to reflect the lion to see one. Yeah, a couple of LT or FPGAs or CPLDs. A couple of flash strips. Obviously the RAM. Let's see what size they are. I've got like an NES to go. See that. CPM seven one two eight. Or EPM seven one two eight. I think they're CPO or these then. Another uh, EPM. EPM nine five six. Ri two forty. See what ramp chips they are. Set so, them. No. Get the lighting. Yeah. There we are. Date code of ninety eight, week sixteen. And it's a HM fifty three oh two eight one RT or IRT. I have to look at that up to see what size the uh, it's four of them. Uh, what are these? A B five seven four A's. Probably buffers. Uh, has a Philips video chip here. Let's 
difficult to see with the conformal coating on. It's a TDA 8707, but look of it. Yeah, TDA, TDA 8702H. See what that is. And there's three identical chips here. That looks like that might be the video. This might be the video interface board. Three analog device chips there. AD 0813. Yeah, AD 8013. They are. And there's three of them. Probably for each video channel, the connector on the back. A uh, 74HE 4052 there. These chips. I've seen these before. They're just buffers. They're just logic buffers. There's four of them. They'll likely interface the FPGAs together. Uh, 74ABT152. Other than military versions, 54 ABT, but yeah, uh, conformal cutting makes it difficult to read these part numbers. Camera, I want to pull this back and add the footage to them, I might be able to actually see them easier in the camera. So. They're just uh, gate sort of buffers. But yeah, this part of the circuit is quite interesting as that looks like it obviously takes some sort of analog video input. Uh, I definitely takes that looks like an analog input circuitry to me. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Right, put that to one side. There's another massive board in there with a lot of chips on it. Right. Trying to see if it's in that. Uh, I've got it, yeah. That looks like Of a heated wire, uh, let's look at this power supply board. Seems to be awkward trying to get something in shot. It's quite a complicated beast, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't power up. But you know, I think what I'll do is, I'll do, I'll do this in two separate videos. First video will be a teardown, and the second one will be a reverse engineering attempt. Yeah, a lot of dust and dirt in here. And let's see what we've got. A couple of DC, DC converter modules, input chokes, big MOSFETs and diodes. Some sort of control chip then. You see nineteen oh three. Some botch wire down down there. Hey, yeah, this is gonna be reverse engineering and I think. Yeah. Yeah, big MOSFET there, BUZ three four four. The rest are uh, diodes. Probably for each power reel. This is power from 28 volts, not 115 volts, so it's a DC to DC converter, this board. And then, yeah, they're all diodes. And not really much to look at there. We'll come back to that board later. So, yeah, let me cut. That's just simply a bat plane board inside there. 
to one side. All right. There's obviously the bruins of the operation. Uh, yeah, it's got heating element inside. Probably to get rid of the moisture. Yeah, this is the LCD panel driving board. Probably a pushing canting. Yeah, there we go. Yuck. Right under there, that looks like that's a backlight inverter. Let's look at that. Yeah, that's just simply the back on inverter of that. Not much interesting in there. All right, well, love the catch that goes to the LCD pillar. It's back in the LCD module. No. The main board. Let's see what we've got here. And then that's obviously an FPGA. It's labeled plus L5 here, 8407, VGA 21. Uh, here we've got an EDI 8L325 12C02 zero has to bet that with a static RAM chip there's another one there and uh, an that metal hand processor with a date code of 99 week 39 looks like a custom microcontroller so it's got the F111, which is the um, code number for this unit. A uh, couple of how to max FPGAs, another one there. Two more chips here. Let's see what they are. Confirm cutting, like I say, that's difficult to read. Um, let's see what this out is. Let's see. It is this one, it is Motor Row sixty eight MCP sixteen. Yeah. MC68HCP11, that's uh, obviously the microcontroller. It's my DT chips here. 7200 Elf 25J11. Um, another video chip there. It looks like another custom IC, but they also have VGA, so I just, I just wonder if this does take a VGA then. So I can't see any ARI, or in code, ARI and see how you even pronounce it. I can't see any transceivers, nor any um, no STD transceivers either. Maybe it is all analog. It might just uh, take simple like red, green and blue. Um, I mean, it's digital format, but... Got a flash chip here. Again, it's very difficult to read this pan up, so I just can't see if the conform or cut on it. It's an AMD 2928F20. By the look of that, can't read the rest of it. Uh, I see 26. AM29F0408. AM29F04 
QB or a 0 8. Uh, these are the chips here. All these chips here. These are all AVT 162s because they're just buffers. Have a good look at the board. So, right then, so how have we got on? That, you know, uh, unreadable. Custom, yeah, it's all custom chips. They look like S RAMs to me. Again, these are buffers. 74, 54 hits, the logic, FPGAs, custom video chip. 68 HC11 compatible microcontroller and then there's some flash RAM, more flash RAM and some interface buffers and another yeah, analog device just chipped down there ADG048BR well, and imagine these these are the interface of the other boards that buffer it these FPGAs are like a control. These are like a generate the signals for the LCD. Yes, yeah, so this looks like an LCD driver board, so it, it may well be a lot simpler than what I thought. Yeah, DOA avionic systems there. Yeah. See, it's very old, so I mean, obviously the technology in this and all these chips nowadays have been a single chip. So I think this is just simply an LCD control board. And I want to imagine that's a 4 meg flash. I'll look at all these chips anyway, and I'll, I'll put some IRS photos on the blog and find a bit more detail on the chips if I can and level up what they are. There's the... Think next stage is to um, have a got reverse engineering it so you can get the think power up. Hello, uh, welcome to part two of this video. Well, last time I stripped this unit down to see what's inside, so it wouldn't power up, and I just thought I'd take it apart just to see what's inside in the late 90s, early 2000s aircraft cockpit instrument. Now, as I put this pack together, I noticed that there is some damage to this. See there on the IC, two pins are shorted. I found it strange that the power supply board is covered in dust and everything else is covered in dust, but the fan on the back isn't. I just wondered if somebody's already took this apart, used it for parts, or it's the unit that's been used to make a good one out of the two bad ones. I'm looking at that chip there, that just doesn't look right to me. What I'm going to do is straighten those out. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll try and reverse engineer the power supply, see where the power pin's coming on the back. <laughs> 